Good morning. We're so glad you're here. For daily vlogs, if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Look, I'm in some like weird hall. It's actually just the second floor where all the meeting space is. I'm getting to know my way around. So I'm going this way to the gym to get my 30 minutes in. Oh, it feels good. water before we will figure out what we're gonna do this morning all right I got my 30 minutes in and breakfast has actually begun but it's like a not like a super formal scheduled breakfast it's like from 7 a.m. to 8 45 so it's a little after seven now I'm gonna go up to my room shower get ready we're doing like jeans and the ACS shirt so nothing fancy should just take me a few minutes to get ready and then I'm gonna get some breakfast because I'm hungry. Good morning. From the boys and I, we got Awesome Mix Volume 1 and 2 Spotify playlist going. And peanut butter honey toast for breakfast. This was my to do list last night after the boys went to bed. Only got two things. <laughs> two things done. Um, so this will put the vlog schedule a little wonky, but. We're gonna figure it out. Also, I don't think I'm gonna have our family comment today. It's just like, the boys are like, I don't know if it was just a lull and like now they're draining the last of it or if like they're really coughing up the last of it, but I just feel like their coughs have kind of escalated. And I just like, if I were coming into somebody's house like this, I would want them to know that like, yeah that this is going on so it might be another just chill day at home for us um we do have a viewing in the evening so i'll have plenty of time to like get the kitchen situated um and it did snow last night but it's supposed to get up until 40. i don't know what time though hopefully some of it will get melted and i'll be able to just take the boys out to just get some fresh air um take out the garbage and that sort of thing So now I'm having the breakfast before the 9 a.m. general session. Um, I think the breakouts, there's four. There's like two today, two tomorrow. And I think mm, for three of the four, I'm gonna be with the other endurance athletes and fundraisers, which is gonna be really cool to hear um, their stories and everything. But I'm very hungry. I was hungry before I went to bed last night. And so was Sarah and she was like, order room service, but room service closed. And then I was like, I, should, I don't want to eat before I work out. <sighs> what a blessing to have, right? So let the festivities begin. Over 10 million dollars. The top 30 started at 14 
million this year. So we're just kind of out of that top 30, um, but just kind of on the cusp there. So you guys should be able to feel really proud. Of Having the breakouts now, this first one's gonna be fun. It's all endurance people. So it should be interesting. Can't wait to tell you all about it. A little update over here. Me and James are doing some drawing. I've been drawing and then he like goes over whatever I draw. So I do some flowers. Inspired by Tangled. So we're just we're just kind of relaxing. I can tell he's like he's just a little uh, off. Obviously I am used to having the kids by myself during the day when Peter's at work. But even when Peter's working, like he can hold the baby for a minute while I make lunch or you know like this is like, you know, a different a different ball game. And everything has been great. However, I did expect to be able to do a little bit more. We were supposed to have guests yesterday. We were actually we planned on doing something like more than just stay at home. And now we're not going to have our guests come over. We I just I really just think that like we need just like a full like another solid day of rest. Um my sister's kids, like they have the same thing, so I don't like I'll I'll rethink tomorrow with her, with Christina, um, but we're just gonna have another day at home. So when that happens, you know, you know, when like things don't go according to plan, I like a good treat. That's like my love language, and I had some money in my Venmo that I didn't realize, and so I ordered cupcakes with my Venmo. Um, so those should be arriving any minute. And Teddy's snoozing, and so we'll have to save him some. What is that? So I was able to stick to my no spend February with my little work around with that Venmo. Um, I'm, I'm sneaky, I guess. But I got two cupcakes, creme brulee cupcake, which I've actually never had, and it's like their number one cupcake. And then this is salted caramel chocolate. And then chocolate chip cookie. And Jamesy's already dove into the chocolate covered Oreo. This is so divine. Their cupcakes, not all of them, but like the ones they're most known for have filling on the inside. They've actually won Cupcake Wars, if you ever watched that back in the day. I don't know if it's still on. But yeah, Molly's Cupcakes, there's a ton of locations now. All right, first breakout session was done. Breakouts, woo woo, it's lunchtime. Um, that was mostly talking and discussing about different plans that different teams have done. I'll probably go more in depth later. Um, even these other endurance events um, are bigger events events. Like there's Ride, Pan, Pan Ohio Ride, and some of these huge, huge, like big planned events, not as much of an individualistic thing as running is. So it's like going to be a little difficult to like translate some of these ideas over to how to explain it in an individual case, but I'm going to do my darndest. All right, we got lunch. Megan and me are like most of our breakouts together. I think it's because we're all endurance. It's in, yeah, it's I don't think it was all... a weird coincidence. It's all endurance. But we have, we have lunch. It looks delicious and it's a beautiful day. All right, we're about to go back to general session, but I want to show this backdrop. I don't know if I did yesterday because the whole weekend is Top Gun themed. And look over here, my favorite thing about conferences, a coffee table, which will hopefully be out soon. We got outside for a little fresh air and a walk. And is that fresh blooms I see? Most of the snow from last night has melted. Like, it looked like it had accumulated, but the temperature is like a balmy 40. So not sticking around. So decided to get out. Hopefully this fresh air will help whatever's going on with these kids. Um, and I'm giving you my 30 minutes of activity now with the kids. And then hopefully I can be productive at bedtime. Our routine is a two person job. Um, so yeah, if you're, again, if you don't know about our like 30 minutes of activity for 30 days, 
It's a challenge that I came up with just for like accountability and motivation. And I'll link the Facebook group below. Everyone's been posting, being encouraging, giving high fives on the internet. So if you're interested in that, check it out. It is so nice and sunny out. This worked out perfectly. Ooh. I'm gonna find you. Where are the bracelets? Anybody know? Okay, you guys all have them. A little housekeeping, another general session, then off to another breakout, all right? This is where we're gonna solve all the problems that we have in our fundraising. I got I got some opinions I'm gonna unload on this one. You got some ideas and some opinions too. I have no ideas, I have opinions. I want ideas off of my opinions. I'm gonna have to remember to give you guys a breakdown of these breakout sessions we went through. Very, very, uh, educating and I'm interested to see I've got like I want to have conversations with our ACS staff when we get back about how we could potentially change things up for Chicago She's trying to get your banana. Take a bite. <laughs> you naughty. You gave Evie your banana. Jamesy's got some strawberry ice over here. A nice contained snack time. The last like two to three hours have been just chaos. I went into lunchtime so naive. Hold on, I gotta show you this beautiful baby over there. Hi, look at that sunshine. Plan was to put Teddy down for a nap and then have James do an hour rest and then clean up the place before our tour happened. And as everything just dominoed not happening, it was like, well, gotta get something situated. I tried to, to reschedule it, but with it being Saturday, no one was in the office. And I was able to get the kitchen situated. That was like the biggest thing. And it wasn't even that bad. It was just, I've had like cleaning bottles on my mind. Um, so I just started that, had a, had clean soap water in there. And I was like, this is going to have to be fine. Um, and then the boys, we just relaxed and watched Hercules in my room. We were finishing it out here. Teddy did fall asleep. Everywhere else was fine, except for the toys. So with five minutes to spare, I just like brought James out here, did the toys, and then like the door lasts like two minutes. And of course, like those boxes are in the hallway, like they understand like we're moving to and like they see I clearly am busy. Um, and are always like, oh, it's all right, it's all right. But it just like feels like so much of my day is like centered around that happening. Um, and then it only takes two minutes. So it's over and now we can breathe and um, kind of figure out the rest of the night. Teddy woke up. Um, Jamesy kind of got to rest with the movie, so I'll probably prioritize just keeping it chill, cooking dinner and I don't know, I can't even like think right now. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have uh, the second half of the cupcake I left behind from earlier because it was like it was so good, but it was so so sweet. Um, I love buttercream, but I just couldn't do the whole thing. Um, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll just have that before I try to do anything else. In my Back in the room, um, the like main program is done for the day. Um, there's like a fundraising slash expo slash networking situation that's going to be starting in like 10, 15 minutes. Um, but it really starts, actually I think it starts at 6. 
dinners at 6 30 i think they have the people who are like setting up any fundraisers that they brought um are setting that up now and so i'm just gonna chill in the room and call sarah and the boys and then i think i'm gonna go to the bar before dinner and then there's like there's like a special event like they're calling it the amazing people race so there's uh we've been given randomized teams and we're gonna there's like a, an amazing race thing they're doing throughout the hotel tonight at the end of the program at 7 30. i don't see that taking like super super long so i think like we're gonna go until like 8 30 which is a pretty long day considering we started at i think i went to breakfast at 7 30 7 45. um but a lot of fun stuff a lot of interesting stuff the the last general session i'm not sure how we're gonna be able to edit all this together if it's like cohesive or not but the um the last section there was like a, probably the most emotional portion that we've experienced this weekend um with like the singers and the stories people talking about the family that they've lost survivors that have gone through the journey staying at the hope lodge i did get some swag so it's a really nice travel mug and then a new acs bag this is like a gym bag kind of thing it's actually nice i can use that as like another like my carry-on because i've got a few things and i don't have to pack as tightly and everything in the, the other carry-on bag i have so it'll be like my backpack personal item kind of thing anyway i'm gonna call sarah and the boys i'm kind of exhausted but in like a good way so this is the what's called the landing this is where we've been having breakfast and lunch and tonight we're having dinner and tomorrow we'll do breakfast here as well so it's been like catered style and then they've got the pools out there. That's the gym over there. So that's the bulk of it. I mean, then there's like one bar and restaurants, another bar, and then the banquet hall, or the, what you call it? I forget. Uh, ballroom. Words. I made an executive decision without coming back from Megan. I went to La Reserve. La Reserve. An old fashioned, with this cool space. Pretty cool. I mean, there's cowhide on the floor, which is different from my Chicago slash Florida lifestyle. But we're in Texas, right? Can't forget that. All right, here's the delicious looking dinner and the cocktail I snagged before dinner. I'm gonna grab some of this Hope Lodge stuff because I want to share this with you guys. It's one of those things that I don't think we've touched on it too, too much within our videos about what the Hope Lodge is and means. But I need to grab a baked potato because Megan had space on her plate, but I did not. And we have a view of the pool today for dinner. Booyah. Baked potato acquired. All right, we don't know what's happening, but we're about to do the people's yeah, amazing race. Because they asked us to take our shoes off, so this is gonna be interesting. My team won the amazing people race, and yes, I'm very sweaty from it. We're so far ahead, I was able to grab a beer, and I get to watch these people figure out their lives while I wait for my medal. All right, here we go. The Amazing People Race. It's my, my little award for our team winning first place. We also got these cool shirts from the Hard Rock Atlantic City. And then this is uh, the Run Disney Committee shirt I'm gonna wear tomorrow so I can represent Run Disney. And I have uh, my Chicago pullover I'm gonna wear over that to represent both my teams. It's an earlier day tomorrow. And Sarah was FaceTiming me, but then Teddy woke up. So she's going to call me back. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off now so I can send these clips over to Sarah. Um, we, I still have like a half day tomorrow. So we start at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I think there's four sessions. Uh, two general, two breakout, and then breakfast and lunch. But the event ends at 1. And then obviously I'll have to, when I get up, I'm going to do my workout for the 30 for 30 in the morning. And so I'm just going to get up, work out come back get myself ready but i also have to pack up i mean it's just me i don't have a lot i have literally a carry-on and a personal item um but i have, i'm gonna do that in the morning so another fun acs day ready to learn and be a sponge and absorb it i was actually talking to an amazing fundraiser who's done like a lot of grant oriented fundraising so one of the most unique and special things about acs is they do um, a lot of proceeds from the fundraising goes towards research and grants. And so this woman has literally like fundraised $3 million just herself over, over the past like 10 years. And a lot of that is around getting specific people and to sponsor or donate to getting a grant started. Because a lot of ACS's grants go towards first time 
researchers and scientists to get them basically their career started. So I was like, hey, me and you got to talk because we want to do the World Marathon Challenge and it's a $150,000 minimum. And I would love to discuss like if we can not only have it be for World Marathon, but also for a specific research grant. So more to come on that. I have to talk to my the staff at ACS to see if that's even a thing. That's just where my head's at. Got a lot of things going. A lot of things going on in my head um, after this weekend. It's good to be home. Alrighty, now it's my turn to sign off. My today was kind of flip flop from yesterday. Bedtime went super smooth tonight, and it was a little bit of chaos during the day, um, and things didn't go as planned. But. I mean, I think she is the most exhausted over here. Oh gosh, I wish I would have just caught the sigh that she let out. The plan is to still go to the south side tomorrow. I really saw a big difference from this morning to this evening as far as how the boys are feeling, but I'm gonna like let the morning settle and decide and drive during Teddy's first nap. Um, I just wanna say a big thank you for you guys always supporting our American Cancer Society fundraisers. The reason that Peter is a top performer is because of you guys. Obviously we put in the legwork and we do the silly business like riding the Skyliner for hours and coming up with ways to fundraise, but you guys always show up for us and um, I, I'm not going to get emotional. I'm going to wrap it up. Like Peters mentioned, we don't want to be doing this. It's not, um, yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. And we've been inspired by, you know, the experiences we've had with cancer. Unfortunately, um, you know, both of my parents uh, passed away and couldn't even use the benefits of ACS. But if anything, it is like going to be our life's work so that other people can have the knowledge and the resources and all of those things so that they don't have to go through what we go through and Peter's learning so much and hopefully there will be, be even more like um, future ways that we will be able to do that as the Burkhart Project <sighs> so thank you and it is good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Production.